Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week the Porsche Cup series is at Spa, which is one of my favourite combos. So, obviously, I had to go give it a try. I did two races prior to this one, unrecorded, lost a hell of a lot of safety rating in both of them, and thought to myself, okay, for this one, I need to gain some safety rating. So that is exactly what I aim to do. Unfortunately, my attempts to gain safety rating were quite quickly cut short. Now, if you want to understand what I mean, I suggest you keep watching. So here we are on the grid, ready to go. The lights are red, give it full throttle. Green, lift off the clutch. Find the biting point, power, power, power. We're away, decent launch. This guy to the right of me sort of closes that gap, so I back off, trying to be safe. Coming through turn one, I'm taking it nice and wide because people are really good at crashing here. Thankfully, nothing happened. Uh, it's clear to my right, but I take my time to move over just in case. Slipping behind this blue car, coming up to Eau Rouge, and you can see two cars ahead are going too wide, and that results in this. Now, he got away fairly lightly. A 4X from rear-ending that guy in front of us when he came on the brakes, and a few positions lost. We're now down to P12 from our P8 start. Coming towards Le Com for the first time, I lock up completely uh, because my tires are just a little bit shot from that incident. And we lose another two, three positions down to P14. Bit of a shame, but we know we've got the pace. So coming towards Puon, we can see that everyone is still in a fairly big train of cars, which will result in some people being slower than others, some battles slowing people down. So we know we're not fully out of it. We can just stick to some good pace and catch up. Coming through Blanchemont, big, big, big lift through there. You can get it flat, but I didn't want to do that on that one. See the guy in front of me, he runs super wide. Now into the bus stop, we gain heavily on the brakes. These guys all just sort of bumped up. Now we're nice and close within a few temps of these guys. Blue car down the inside, so that's gonna throw this guy off the line a little bit. We make use of that, slip into the inside, get on power. Hopefully it's enough. But no, the red and silver car, he's just about got a better run than us around the outside. So we come off the throttle a tiny bit, let him through. Come up Eau Rouge, we're going as flat out as we possibly can. Taken off track there, running wide. Uh, but we've, we've still got a better run than the silver car. Better run than this orange car. And we're going to send it towards the inside of the orange car and look for a move. On the brakes, nice and careful. Didn't want to go for it because I wasn't close enough. Through Lacombe. Turn seven, over the curb, use all that exit curb, little bit of gravel there. Nice pass, past the silver car. Into Brussels. Good rotation on the brakes there, second gear. Up to third for no name, on the brakes. Tip it in, avoid the sausage curb if possible, on the power. Could have used more of the curb on the exit. Now I'm making sure to focus fully on the road in front of me as to not look in my mirrors too much and get caught up in defending for no reason. Now it's super important to have a good run here because this whole section 
from 15 all the way to the bus stop, super high speed, you want to have a good run. We've already put around a second on the car behind us and we're gaining on this orange car. Again, lifting because I'm not confident to take that flat and already with five incident points, I do not really fancy an off track. Now we know if we get a good run up a rouge here, then we can slipstream our way past this orange car. So that's exactly what we try. Keep it nice and flat out, use all the curb. Mega run on this orange car now. We're absolutely flying. He's going to defend the inside. So I dive to his left, but I sit in the middle of the track, block him. Classic racing maneuver, I've done that so many times. Dive to the racing line at the last second. Break my line now, get ahead of him. That's a free position, just like that. So now already we're looking forwards to this Michelin car in front of us, not worrying about what's going on behind us. We can already see that we're gaining quite a lot on this Michelin car and the move for position should be very soon. He's a little quicker than me through 13. And I get a little loose on the exit there. Coming into 14, he runs wide, so we're gonna get a better run here. Then you have to lift slightly for 15. I lifted a little bit too much, got on the power a bit too late. That's given them a little advantage there. Big gap now to the car behind already. Through Blanchemont. Lifting again. Every single time I go through there, I'm just giving it a tiny bit more throttle when I lift, just a tiny bit. Into the bus stop, second gear, then down to first for the second turn. Power onto the main straight. Flat out through a rouge. It seems that a lot of people don't quite know how to take that flat out just yet in the Porsche Cup since the uh, revision of the circuit. We are absolutely flying past this car now on the inside, trying to take as much track as we can. We're going to break at the usual point, turn in. He's tucked in behind us. That's a free position. That just shows how important it is. For any high speed straights, you need a good run. Now this car in front of us went off at Lacombe, probably locking up, so he's our next target. I haven't had a chance to see how this guy drives yet, so for now we just stay behind him, watch him for a little bit, and start to figure it out as we gain on him. Through pool on I wasn't carrying enough speed, and I was definitely trail braking a little bit too much to get the car turned in. That's something I needed to work on. Gaining heavily on the braking zone into the bus stop, using the most of the threshold braking that we possibly can. Now again, we're gonna go as flat out as we possibly can up at Rouge. You can already see the gain is ridiculous. Go to his left. And we're, we've basically been given the position. If you're gonna drive the Porsche Cup at Spa, you need to know how to do a rouge flat. He tucks in behind us. That's a free position. Into Lacombe, two cars in front of us. Potentially they may battle with this black car. Looking like he may have to defend from the white car. Black car's getting very defensive now. White car's looking for the move down his left. He makes a little bit of contact and the black car spins. White car gets in our way. I slam on the brakes, dive to the left. Stick it down the inside of him in Puon. He basically just gives us the position after that. Little bit of a confusing incident there. He looks down the inside briefly for 13, but there's nothing really there. Now we just need a good run through to Blanchemont and we're clear of these guys. That's P8 now. From a P8 start, dropping down to P14, back to P8. 
within five laps. I defend the inside here. Blue car tries braking late, locks up, goes down the inside. So I was very smart to move down into the middle a little bit there to open up the corner. Otherwise, he may have killed me. Very happy that he did choose to send the car past us rather into the back of us, but that was quite scary. That has helped us though, because it's sort of freaked out everyone else behind me, throwing everyone off a bit. So now we can focus on just going ahead. From this point onwards, it was pretty much just smooth sailing. Nothing really to worry about. I kept everyone else that I'd passed behind me. Didn't give them any chances. They did stay pretty close, but we defended all the way until the end, securing our P8 position with a gain of 41 I rating and six incident points, which resulted in a safety rating gain of nothing. We gained nothing and we lost nothing. So I'll take it. But you know, I would have um, quite liked to actually get a little bit of safety rating with how much Porsche Cup has absolutely destroyed it. So there it is. Did we gain safety rating? No. <laughs> but did we have fun? I think so. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and drop a sub. And if you like this format of video, which I haven't really done before, then please do let me know in the comments and I'll keep making these. See you in the next one.